Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of U4. Quill Korea is is China Korea, really, is, is what's going on here. Um we are the Emperor of of China. We that's us. I mean we're Korea still, but that that's who we are. Um which is kind of fun. We are currently in a war against you over here for Canton, which is going to be important to, to uh, keep things going. So, did some reading on Tings. So, oh, how do we, wait, oh, probably from decisions. We got some bonus mandate. Right, right, right. Um, so, you do spend the mandate on the reforms. You need at least 80 and apparently spend 70. So, after you pass one of these, it sets you to 10, which is pretty low. Um, and it's going to make things dicey for a little bit but is is okay um and is what we're going to want to do and indeed the reforms do get reset whenever you change who's in charge of the of china here um and then the decrees they spend meritocracy not mandate which i finally i can i can see now apparently only spends 20 you can only have one going on at any given time so it seems like we want to have one going um we don't really need the combat i think what we might just do is go for the taxes right now uh, core development creation cost. No, that's fine. Yeah, I think tax modifier. There you go. Tells us in the, in the button when we hit it. Uh, the problem is meritocracy is like forever lowering. So I guess you need events really to help bring it up. Oh, and we got some corruption coming in. Um, probably want to boost our corruption. Eliminating efforts as well. Uh, so we're hoping that we get this siege here. We do have a new estate. Or no, she's... A, oh, I think it just got renamed. Oh, the size of the Shizu. Taxes, stability cost modifier. Having positive stability is good for things. 57. All right, he's still negative, so he can't win here. There we go. We've won the siege. So what I'm hoping for is Champa. Uh, oh, I can't force tributize you. Maybe because I'm not adjacent. Mmm. Oh, and it might not go because of ongoing battle here. There you go. Um. I mean, war reps, all your cash on hand. Trade and everything, none of that matters. You know, null treaties with people. None of this really matters. You can get a little prestige. Let me hit this here. You have to break your rivalry over there. We'll get some more prestige, although we're pretty prestigious. I don't think I really want anything from these guys. I don't think taking land is going to be that helpful. Um, we're pretty overextended as it is. So we're going to do that just to annoy them and so that we can get money from them directly. Okay. So now we're just with you, although we don't have a... Um, your black flag now. Um, and that's black flag, which is kind of funny. We don't have a, um, a diplomat right now. Free pop. There, there's our diplomat. So with you, here's the thing. Canton absolutely 100% has to come to me. We do want to tr control the trade over here. Um, oh, it's 100 and it's over 100 like that. Do we want to go and just annex some more things? I mean, ultimately, we want this all to be within my territory. But short term, I kind of like the idea of doing a little bit more of this. Revoke your core on the province I own. I mean, we're at 70 already. Mostly. Mostly why? 29%, another 10%, so that's 39, you have a subject, oh, all your money, I forgot about that, all right, it's not listed in the menu, you have a subject, Yeah, you know what? Drop that. That'll give me more prestige. Not that it really matters. But they might be thankful to me. We can ally with you. We can certainly consider it. Now, you have a fort on Flatland. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this castle. 
Um, I would like you to be a seat of parliament, I think. So I think we'll just wait. So not having... Oh, that's no debate. Diplomat, advisor cost, tolerance, land attrition. Um, actually, having a diplomat for now might be kind of useful. Or maintenance for money. No, I'll go ahead and do this. Um, chance to end. Chance to win. Let me get back to you. Do this. So we are way overextended. We're going to spend a lot of money on corruption and things, but that's okay. Oh, those are Apache troops. Um... should bring you back home. All right. Fleet. Detach the transports. So those are the transports. These are my warships, who I will just park to here for now. Still have to go after China at some point. Um, all right. We do have Hawaii. So yeah, our transportation is a lot better than it used to be. I guess I'll bring these guys home. It's going to be okay. You're going to chill there. And you're going to move to there, which I guess is going to be okay. Uh, how close are we to being capped? Not yet. Man, we can almost do an embrace, too. If I... Can I strengthen government? Oh, I can! This is all of a sudden a little bit more worthwhile. Let's do another dose of that. Give us a little bit more padding. Uh, yeah, we lost the effects of that because we do control Canton now. Uh, Rebel Uprisings, I think there's going to be a bunch of harsh treatment in here. We shall see. Um, you over here, actually, can go Rebel Stomping to there to slow it down and save us a few bucks. And then when this army is over here, you'll do the same thing. So, what are we missing? Nanjing, right, which is right over here. We will get you soon, but we're in pretty good shape mandate-wise. So as a title, that's a lot of money. Or stability. Um, you know what, let's go for the stability. Because it's also going to help to offset the corruption gain a little. I don't know if it's smart enough to not spend what we don't need. No opposes. Left the coalition. I mean, we're pretty big, and they've been doing a lot of internal wars. Bunch of cores just finished. I think we can probably bring down our forts. As long as we're on top of things when it comes to the provincial unrest. And let me smash you down some more. I mean, so there's some rising numbers, but it is going to take a while before it gets anywhere. You're here. You can also go rebel stomping. I don't need, really need to add you, but we can do that. Which will, we're actually, I mean, I guess with our high stability and everything, we're actually, well, remarkably stable. High naval attrition. That's my transports. Is it on the way back? No, it's on the way there. Um, so just dock yourself here for now. I might be able to upgrade those transports as well. Which will make them a little bit... Probably have a higher speed, which should help with things. So yeah, we want Nanjing. Did Canton get renamed? Guangdong. Okay. Negative money right now because things... Um, while we do want Embrace, I think actually... Uh, these are so expensive. And the payback time is so long. Hmm. No, Let, let's embrace rather than build those. If we do everything, it might be ships. Uh, this is you. Can I fabricate more claims on you? I can. I'm surprised I don't just have permanent claims on all your stuff. Or so many claims it's too expensive. But yeah, we'll get a token one that's going to be okay. If we look at their dip yeah, our diplomat mode, we have claims on everything here. So, okay, there's some bits of you that we don't we don't reach. And then Lang Xiang over here is actually another place. Because this is within... Some of it is within the Canton trade node. So we would like to have control over that. Okay. 
We've got 85% of the trade power in Beijing. So right now, our main trade port is here, right? Yes, yeah, main trading port. Yeah, we're, we're moving it to Beijing. And in fact, we'll move it into Beijing itself, which is right here. Boom. So we are going to... Tell you what, let me just... Can I just quickly recall me, you guys? No, I can't. So from here, what we actually want to do... Oh, can I change what you do? Have you not registered? There we go. Transfer trade power to there. And we need to get a merchant here. So the Californian merchant isn't really doing anything with us or for us. So we're going to recall you. It's going to take you a while to get home. And then what we want you is in here, diverting trade up to Beijing. Now, we are by default collecting trade over here. So we don't need to do anything special. Uh, what we need to do, because there's going to be a lot more money here. We need to make sure it's flowing to Beijing and not to Xi'an. And that's what's going to happen. As soon as our merchant comes home, boom, transfer trade power. And we'll die by default transfer it, you know, in the correct direction. Uh, but then I think uh, this trade fleet is going to be protecting trade here. We have to project more power so that more of the trade that's in here is flowing north to Beijing. We don't have very many ships. We don't have that much land here either. Uh, we do have a, a center of trade or coastal center of trade thing. Oh no, it's just an estuary. <laughs> it's not one of these. Oh yeah, level one. So those, that's the territory we really need to grab. So Wu is going to be a giant target, but we have we have claims all over them. But yeah, all the coastal stuff in Wu is going to be a massive, massive priority. Um, in the meantime, though, marketplaces? Yeah. Anyone that's at least over one over here, that's going to be a big deal. Uh, we might want some more here. Well, let's get you at a six. There we go. Norway. Oh. Yeah, what is the situation here? There's definitely some Norway. They're definitely still independent and allied with Utrecht. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a bold... Oh, Denmark is covered in rebels. Norwegian separatists. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's really interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button now for the trade efficiency. We might still be a while away before we can start doing Diplotech and get that bonus, but I think we want the trade to be running as much as possible. Construction cost discount. Castile has insulted us. Rivalry status is still like that. Ming is border gourd. Actually, I think Ming have regained some territory, though. So, you know, good on them. Could invest in that, but we don't want to. Main 64 and rising. Yeah, so we're losing some from Nanjing and losing some because there's still some devastation. Which makes sense because we've been worn here like crazy. Rebellion status is fine and highly managed, actually. Still haven't regained our manpower. You're still exploring. Did you get... Um... Oh, no, you're right. You're still here. Um... Okay, you can make it home without upgrading. So we're going to do that. But yeah, it'll be worth doing some round of upgrading for the ships. And actually, I may just want to build my light ships up to my trade limit. Or... Right. Hold on. I have a mission. Champions piracy. 30 galleys, 5 heavy ships. I think maybe we'll work our way up to that. Even though it's not... One of the greatest. Oh. Is that Great Britain over here? No? Hang on. They have colonies close to ours. Oh, maybe over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These guys. I was afraid Great Britain was starting to knock on my door. Which I would not have appreciated. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, build ships. Just to progress on our missions. I think that's okay. One, two, three. And then... One, two, three, four. Duh, duh. So that will let us complete that mission. And yes, we'll give us a monstrous navy to just smash Japan. And then what we can probably do is scale away from it. In particular, while we have tons of inner sea here for our galleys to, like, fight really effectively. Long term, it's heavies that we're going to want to be able to project um, 
some force against some of our overseas oppositions in the Americas, in Africa, possibly Europe. Uh, Wu likes me more. I don't care about Wu's opinion. We'll just take the trade power. Wu's going to get smashed. Here's a coalition, which is okay. Come on, get that institution. Uh, recall, right, because that's one of our vassals. Speaking of, so we have no annexation going on right now. Um, so, Anu and Korchin. Actually, we're exactly 190. Let's annex Korchin. Autocracy. CBs. Manpower is starting to accrue now. Coffee. That's nice. And yeah, I would like to actually build more light ships. Um, I don't know what are, we're going to be force limit wise after all this is done yet. Yeah, currently, annexing speed is basically nothing. But I'm okay with starting it and occupying a diplomat in case a war starts. Because at least then it's locked in. I don't have to worry about it. Like, it's, it's sort of a little silly, but really who cares about an extra diplomat. So yeah, we have a debate in government. I'm kind of okay maybe if it just fails. Would lose us prestige. All right. I don't care about navy tradition really. A little autonomy in. Oh, that's an important place. Yeah. Actually, all these places are pretty important, right? Because I put my my parliaments in places with high development. So we do get an extra diplomat. It might just be a good time to, first of all, let's just, um, our subject nations. There you go. We'll just make sure to cap them off. Quarantine port, let them die. It's cold, but we're going to have to do it. Missionary strength. I mean, we do have a couple of Shinto. Yeah, total missionary strength there is minus three. So getting the plus two isn't going to be enough. Um, prestige is pretty good. We'll just take the tax modifier. Colony self-sustaining. Excellent. Freeze up a colonist. We only have three again, but that's okay. Oops. Send colonist over there. Actually, another one's going to pop. This may or may not have a colonist, though. Yeah, that one didn't have a colonist. Now, I can still do more simultaneously. Oh, you're joining Colo Korea. This is not making a new colonial nation. Oh, really? Okay. Still, it's good territory to control. So I guess that's okay. That did free up a guy. Um, what is it geography? Colonial and trade regions. So we don't have anyone. We don't have a Brazil colony yet. And we could start one. So let's do that. We'll have to do some inland colonizing, but that's going to be okay. Spy network on land over here. Right. Okay, we can only fabricate one claim, but that's going to be enough. Stop doing that. Because, yeah, this is going to be some trade. We're going to want to control this Canton trade node. Um, because we don't do it now, but we're going to want to flow it up to here. Coalition... Well, we're not going to start a war yet, but yeah, you're definitely going to be a target, buddy. Calacrian noble rebels. Well, they might change dynasty. I don't know. They'll be okay. Uh, we're probably just about Captain Admin, and we are. Not despite all the... That's all annexed. How's our state situation? I'm betting we probably have... Yeah. Shandong... Is a state over here. Let's do that. And core. Um, this is a state. This is probably going to be worthwhile as well. Sure. And then, yes, we're going to need another seat in Parliament. Congratulations. Uh, so, I suppose, um, increases our institution cost. <laughs> oh, well. 
three. Th oh my god, these level threes. I think that's still too much money. And trade efficiency is not bad. Well, it's too much money now if we do want to get our, our institution. And are we going to have enough ships built to finish our mission? There might still be a few queued up. Yeah, building ships over here. Okay. What's your naval force limit and how close are we to it? Uh, oh yeah, we still have tons of room. So yeah, we'll probably go up to our uh, force limit in light ships afterwards. And again, you can really go above your force limit for different optimizations, but uh, defense or siege? Um, you know, we'll take siege ability here so that we can burn things down faster without taking as much unrest. But actually, with that in mind, I also have to remember, I'm going to upgrade you. I might not bother with these other forts right now. But this one's in a place where it can get attacked. And yeah, you don't want low level forts because they can de siege way too fast once people get cannons, and then you just lose a ton of war score super duper fast. We still have an extra diplomat here. We'll make sure to bring up our allies as well. Just for now. Keep them generically busy. That's okay. I mean, we could do some more spying, but I don't think we need to. Uh, both population and manpower in one of our colonies, which is actually about the finish. Gorgeous. Yeah, 40 gold right now. Um, most of it's taxation. We do have a lot of modifiers happening for that. Yeah, we'll be able to embrace the institution relatively soon. We're going to have to make a decision as to, do we let one of these other pop first? Coffee boom. We might. We wouldn't save that much money. It's probably worth, since we are about to get capped again. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're going to have to let a lot of these coalitions burn off. But they'll also be dissuaded a little bit as their manpower re-goes. And if we ever build up to our, our actual force limit, I can finish a mission? What happened? Oh, it's my ships. Yes, protect against Japanese um, piracy. We're going to gain an amazing admiral and claims all over Japan. Show me the stripes. Oh, there. Oh, we got claims over here, which... Yeah, we'll probably just colonize it at some point. Okay. And that leads to what mission? I think after that, we have to... Yeah, foothold in Japan, take some more territory. Own a couple of provinces. Set sail the turtle ship. We need to have at least 10% ship durability. 20 years. Ah, yeah, so that's not the most important thing in the universe to finish this. Although thematically, again, you know, finishing these, it makes, you know, themed sense. Um, yeah, we're going to embrace. We're going to do this. We're going to keep ourselves paused. So that we don't lose anything. Because we would. Um, grab you. Grab you. And you. And you. Um, let me come back to you. Force March. What is this one? Oh, the mill. Uh, yeah, we still we have the discount. We have an extra 10% discount over here. And yeah, if we do this, we'll all be matched up. Everything's ahead of time, which is also going to help with our corruption. Not that we have any left anyway. We get um, we've got our innovativeness. We've got some discounts. It's going to give us some uh, trade bonuses, won't it? Oh, yeah. There it is. Yep. Excellent. Lovely. Really, really good. Um, yeah, literally every type of military got an upgrade. Excellent. And we've reset our treasury. Oh, no longer considers me a rival. Um, it's interesting. Ah, there we go. I was going to say, that should be an eclipse. And it is. I should probably go and insult someone as well, but cost of trade embargo against you. Right. Um... Let me grab one of you back here. 71 days. Um, but we can rival the Ottomans. Let's wait on that, because I don't have insufficient rivals. And I'm hoping that, like, if Shun powers up again, then we might be able to rival them. Yeah, Mandate I really want. I think I'll just take the Prestige hit, though.
Let's send him a super insult. All right, 73 power projection, not bad. More buildings available. Oh, right, um, light fleet power? Yeah, probably light ships. Okay, you've got that, which is good, and yeah, we're just going to work on getting a Brazil going on. I'm gonna get a Brazilian. I'm gonna get a Brazilian colonies. How many is a Brazilian? Castile is preparing to attack Granada. Liang declares war against Ming on with the border gore CB is how it should work. One, two, and three. Bringing us up to our naval force limit exactly. Giving us more ships for more trade power over here because we want to yank as much north as possible. There's decent trade there. Oh, um, we want to move this this way so it goes directly here instead. Thank you. Uh, loses stability. Well, we're at plus three. So we still have plenty left, but it does, you know, does hurt a little bit to lose it at that point. Uh, provincial unrest is pretty low, very far away, yeah. I mean, we are rebel stomping everywhere, so that should be okay. Internal conflicts. CBs and things don't matter right now. Oh, man, things are going so well. Yeah, I'd like to colonize this, just maybe just to finish this off, you know? Complete the set. We can invest in new technology and gain innovativeness. Oh, it's the admin efficiency for the first time. That is way ahead, though. Um, I haven't actually invested yet in ideas. Out of curiosity, oh, humanist is pretty good. Like, we could grab admin. No, I think the quality is worth doing. Um, and yeah, let me hit the point, the button here. We dismissed the uh, little tooltip, but it should come up again now that we've sort of done this. That is actually fairly compelling. We have a lot of points. I mean, we could do development. I could move my stability back up to plus three. That actually might not be the dumbest thing in the universe. It's not even that expensive. I'm going to do that. Because being a, I don't know, I don't think stability... Yes, it does help the mandate growth. How come our devastation number grew? Wasn't it lower before? Maybe we took more territory that had more devastation. That could be. Oh, and more tributaries gives us more power. Okay, so we do, at this point, want to maybe max out our tributaries. Uh, who's number three? Who's this? Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. And you know what? You guys are kind of irrelevant, but tributaries are good for this. Yeah, we'll go and tributize you. Because, I mean, I, part of me is like, oh, I'd like to gain this land at some point. But you know what? Now? Now there's value in tributizing everyone we can. Remember when there didn't used to be a range on this? And then people could, you could tributize someone like Europe? And Ming was just stupid? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So they're giving me money right now? I'm actually kind of okay with that. In fact, I might just change all my tributaries to give me money for a little while. Because, I mean, I'm making decent money as is, but we got a lot of stuff we want to build. There's your admin tech again. Uh, we'll wait. I mean, I guess January just hit. We were still fairly far ahead of time. What is development efficiency? I don't know what this is. Does it give us a discount? No, it wouldn't be listed that way. Um, e EU for development efficiency. Development efficiency from administrative technology affects the base cost. Oh, of developing a province. It's interesting that it's not listed as a negative, but okay. So we have positive development efficiency, which then gives us a discount. 
which we don't need. Yeah, no, I can I can just wait. I mean, I guess we could get some innovativeness out of it. The sooner we do it, but we may as well wait for another year. Uh, no, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get overcapped. I suppose I could just do some development. You know what? No, fuck it. Let's hit it. There, twenty years ahead of time. Done. I'm all right with this. We didn't have anything to core. I mean, maybe I could have made some more states. And there we go. Another idea here in quality. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and burn through that with great glee. Colonies are going. Um, I have a free dip. Oh, yeah, a free merchant. Okay. I mean, really, Canton, we want to flow up to here. Yeah, and we've got some trade power. Transfer trade. Yep. Let's go for admin. Or uh, do we? Nah, I don't know. I guess it's fine. There we go. Transfer that way. Um, builder, builder, builder. Buildings. Trade. Now, some of these are limited by autonomy and whatnot, but... Here, here. We don't really need as much there. Because, I mean, we're going to have, like, massive dominance over... Okay, not as much dominance over Giran as I'd expected. Ah, uh, Korchin. Yeah, but it, we will once we annex them. Which is started, but it's slow. We can't get a Diplo rep guy, can we? Is he still really expensive? No, there's literally not one there. I mean, I could start firing things, but... Unrest. Missionary strength. No. I mean, they'd be... Uh, actually, those are not the half-price ones, eh? No, these used to be half-price dudes. A long time ago. But it's probably a good balance change to get rid of this. Okay, coalition. Corruption. Um... Okay, we will be able to run legislative houses for an extra policy. It's literally going to be my only option. It, um, I guess it's not critical to rush that. I'm going to ignore this. We'll lose some 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 government progress, which I don't normally go. But stability is nice. We could go after uh, Jean Ju right now, Ashikaga as well, who's currently beaten up. This is actually actually a really good time for that. You move... Uh, actually, hold on. You are going to land there. And... Oh, you are going to come over here. Yeah, this sounds pretty good. I'll just move my military fleet out here. Do I want to do some upgrades first? Actually, we might be disbanding some of these, so no. I'll let the, the low-tech guys, if they die, they die. Um, I'll do something like that, which should be okay. Yeah, then we can just eliminate this. If we're quick enough, we might be able to feed some land to Korchin. They don't have any claims, but actually, that's probably exactly what I'll do. Although, I'm a little bit more... I'm ahead on, on admin compared to Diplo. So, maybe I'm okay with spending the admin. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll just spend it to do that. Hey, you got a siege pip. That's nice. Tell you what, let's actually move here because then you can go and siege that. Another siege pip. Oh, maybe I have something to give my guys a permanent siege pip all the time with my leaders. Oh, I have to put a cut in here, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start start this war, and this should go fairly well for us. There's very little Ashikaga left. I think they've got a little bit over there actually, um, and Anu is gonna jump in on this, so that's gonna be okay. I don't have a royal marriage going with you. 
me cancel this. I'll try to remember after, because I, I want to declare war immediately. But again, we're going to put a cut here. A little bit of a cliffhanger before we declare war here. And it's really going to be quite simple, but it's going to be big in our font hugely. Look how much like rebellion there's going on over here. I like Shun's having a hard time. This feels great. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.